fantastic. Are you kidding? There is no single theory that explains the behavior that we actually observe. There's just so much that we don't know. The sport is called curling because the stone will curl as it goes down the ice. There's much more strategy possible when you can curl a stone around other stones on the ice. You can position where a stone hits another stone. You can bump other stones out of the way. ice, it curls in the same direction as the rotation. Throw it clockwise, then it's going to curl to the right. Throw it counterclockwise, then it's going to curl to the left. It's weird. The ice guys have kind of like a jetpack, or if you're thinking like the Ghostbusters. They spray fine droplets of water over flat ice. And then you get these little bumps on the ice, which are called pebbles. Those bumps, when they freeze, are not uniform in size. So part two is then we nip, which is to take a big metal blade, shaving off the very top of it so that we have a uniform running surface across all of the bumps. We think the pebbling of the ice is very important to the way that curling rocks behave. and pivots. Grabs the paddle as it goes. There's a little bit of melting that happens. Basically, your rock is following the scratches. Understanding the nature of slipperiness on ice is not a trivial matter at all. It could have practical applications. As long as it curls in the direction we're expecting, we don't really care what the underlying physics is. My theory is, is it does what it does and I just have to accept it and go with it.